Welcome back to another unboxing video and today it's going to be the game Don't Look Back, a tabletop horror experience written by Matthew Burns and of course the company that put it together is Black Sight Studios. And let's flip this over. This is heavy. This is a, I ordered this online. It looks like an awesome game. Very, very heavy box. Very, very heavy box. So let's take a look at what it says here. The sound of heavy footsteps moves closer and closer. You and your friends came here for some fun, but now you're fighting for your lives. Written by Matthew Burns, Don't Look Back is a solo or cooperative tabletop miniatures game where you create a cinematic experience in a world of suspense and terror. Players control four heroes against a randomly generated AI killer. Content, six resin hero miniatures, one multipot resin killer miniature. Don't look back, core rules, gaming dice and tokens, pre-painted lake house cabin kit, pre-painted lake house details kit. Okay, everything again is from this company here, Black Sight Studios. Okay, you can check it out. This box is incredibly heavy. I gotta tell you, every time I lift it up, I'm like, oof. That's why the shipping costs, how much did it cost me for shipping? Well, it's 10 bucks to ship it. All right, there it is, the cover again. It's open. Let's see what we got inside. All right, so we got figures, which we'll come back to. Don't look back. The knife, very cool. The dice, looks like you got 20 side dice. Some 10 side dice and a six, it looks like a six sided dice with a certain emblem on it. Let's take a look at these. Just taking it out as it comes along. All right, like I said, you got a 20. Yes, it's a six sided dice with, uh, I think that's the black sight emblem on it for the number one. Not sure if that has anything to do in the game. Probably does, but we'll find out. Again, 10 sided dice. All right, this is cool. Uh, how to work with MDF. So in this box here in the game, you, you have a house that you have to build, which is part of the game. Um, Again, beginner's tips of how to work with the MD, MDF boards. Okay, what kind of tools do you need? What sort of glue should you use? The part uh, kind of right, how do I get it to fit? Can I repaint my kits? I can't find instructions for my kits. They don't provide them printed in the game. You have to go on, uh, online, the instructions are right there, okay? And again, how to work with resin. All the models that are in the game are resin. Do not sand resin without a mask. What kind of tools will I need to assemble these? This part is kind of right. How can I get it to fit? What's this little bit of resin under their chin? I found some air bubbles in my mini. What should I do? What kind of paint? I can't find instructions for my minis again. The rule book. Here's the rule book. Don't look back by Black Side Studios. Very well done. Heavy book. Beautiful illustrations in them. Don't look back, important game concepts, table and setup, materials needed, D20, D10, and a D5. Line of sight and measuring, randomly place move, character arc, skill roll. Important game concepts within awareness, falling victim, the rule of cinema. Playing the game, preparing to play, turn order, Fright phase, checking character terror, roll for fright tokens, generate fright tokens. Two, the killer phase, place the killer using MO if needed. Move the killer 1d10 inches towards the character, special actions attack with the killer. Flip light tokens. The character phase, players choose the order in which characters act two quick actions or one long and one quick action attack the killer. Preparing to play. The graphics in here are very, very cool. 
call up your characters. Character play, players choose four random characters to play during a game of Don't Look Back. Move, combat, awareness, fright, luck, abilities, item. You got Holden Gibson. You got Alice Grace. Max, the abs. Seth Newton. Denise DeGraw. Ranger Sandy. Supporting characters. Okay. Roll the plot. Points of interest, special rules, lights, objective, theme, killer, set the stage. Terror token, point of interest, important map items, light token. Camping, inspiration, run and survive. Points of interest, number of turns, special rules, lights, objective, theme, killer, Grayson. Where is Pat? Inspiration, investigate and survive. Number of turns, 14, special rules, lights, objective, theme, killer, optional, Beast Northwood. Three, the escape, inspiration, investigate, and survive. Let's just read what, let's see what three says. You hike down to the lake's edge to meet your friends at their cabin. When you arrive, you find what's left of them strewn about the campsite. It doesn't seem like an animal could have caused this damage. You see your friends four by four up the road. You just need the keys. They must be in a pocket here somewhere. Table set up. Set up the table as a lakefront campground with a cabin in the center of the table section A. Then place woodland and lake terrain in the other table section. Set up the characters within six inches of the outer corner of the table section A. Place a suitable vehicle within three inches from the bottom outer corner of the table section. D. Generate freight tokens in turn one as normal points of interest. Place a point of interest token in each room of the cabin and then randomly place four tokens six inches away from the center of the table, section A and B. These tokens represent the mangled remains of the other campers. Special rules, search for the keys, carnage, lights, objective, theme, killer. Don't want to tell you, give it too much away. But it's played on a three by three board. I'll see the cabin, which I talked about, which you have to actually create, uh, is something that moves in each turn. All right, it's in each one of these uh, games, it appears. Trapped, investigate, and survive. Well in the woods, inspiration, investigate, and banish. Okay, the cabin doesn't look like it's in that one. Cabin doesn't look like it's in this one. Oh, hold on. Intensity level and terrain rules. Again, the artwork is just awesome. Turn order. Obviously, it's a horror themed game. The Fright Phase, how you do that, checking character terror. That's how they look all painted up. The Fright Phase, roll Fright Token, Fright Token roll table, results, building tension, turn one. Fright Phase, generate Fright Tokens, important Fright Token rules. Conjuring the Killer, Visage, Traits, M.O. The M.O. Table, one, two step, was one step ahead, three, four stalking, five, six lunge, seven, eight, just out of sight, nine, ten, direct. Visage Table, one, two, mundane, three, four, mutilated. Visage Table, continued, familiar. Looks like Jason. There's an outhouse. Your neighbor always used to be so friendly, but something has changed in the past few days. Your neighbor may be the ice cream truck driver. They don't seem threatening at all. It looks as though it has been tortured or severely injured in an accident. You can hear the sucking of its gore-covered chest wound. This is table continued. Seven, eight, disjointed. Sometimes it's twisted and hunched from... Four moves on all fours, its head twisting unnaturally as it stares. Each step it takes, its bones and tendons creak and snap. Ethereal, spectral, and haunting, the spirit moves through solid surfaces with ease. Its mouth twists, but no words are heard. Again, trait table, whispers, relentless, unnaturally fast, dead eyes, 
patient, daywalker, violent, supernatural, menacing, armed, and dangerous. To go with them. Of course, then the killer phase, placing the killer, moving the killer, special actions, attacks, critical hit, flip light tokens, making a skill roll, the character phase. Quick action, two quick or one short, or one quick and one long action, sorry. Movement and actions, you can trip, desperate actions. Jump scare table, rolling the d10, jump scare. Character phase, you can doors and windows, lock door window, open door window, luck points, batteries and ammo, searching. Character phase, attacking the killer, melee attack, fists and kicks, melee, damage, one injury. Ranged attacks. Thrown object, ranged, four inches, damage, one injury. That guy looks familiar. Hmm. Rolling a one or a 20 on the attacked roll, damaging the killer, driving the killer off, moment of respite. Big boys, weapon table, pistol, bow, hunting rifle, shotgun, assault rifle, knife, machete, chainsaw, baseball bat, antique blade. The big boy supply table, battery, phone, energy drink, old washcloth, old lockbox, set of keys, bag of snacks, flashlight, first aid kit, or bottle. Quick actions, move, let me take a look, kick it in, distract, stumble away, stand up, encourage, snapshot, concentrate, crack, knock, and shout. Long action, search the area, investigate, ranged combat, melee combat, fend off. It's nothing, see? Take a breath, seven minutes in heaven. And there's your quick reference sheet there. Some of your expansions that you have here. So Boxcar Willie, Death on the Line, Choo Choo Chop. There he is. Another killer expansion out now. Attack of the Greys. They came, observed, they sampled. And the last one. Is it the end or is it? So the rules are a total of 32 pages. And the ads are a couple more pages, and there it is, published again by Black Sight Studios. It's beautiful, well written, large lettering, which I enjoy the older I get. And there it is, that's the rule book. You also get a sticker, don't look back, sticker in it. And here's your all your boards that you have to put together, your sheets. Some of your tokens, point of interest tokens. Terror tokens. It's just blood there. They pop right out. They're made out of wood, so it's the MDF board. So it's the MDF board. Put them right back in, too. I don't know if, I can, I don't know if, I, I don't know if they'll fit back in, let me see. Right back in. That's good too. Okay. There you go, a bunch of those tokens, the terror tokens. That's those. These are your point of interest tokens. That's cool. And this is the house itself, which has a tremendous amount of boards. Sheet J. Interior doors, exterior doors. And that's what makes the box so heavy, obviously, is the, the MDF in here. So you get. Last one to the first one. So again, you got to punch this all out. You got to put this house together. It's your cabin and scatter sheet E. Sheet D. Again, this is your all stuff for cab the cabin. This is 
sheet A. The roof that comes off. Sheet B. Sheet F. Never sure what sheet goes with what. Here's sheet H, what goes where, but Again, the instructions are not in the box. I want to make sure that everybody understands that the, sheet, the instructions are not in the box. You can only find them online. This here is supporting character tokens and light tokens. There they are for you. These are the doors like over here. Some more stuff. Last but not least, you got your dice again, showing everything that came in the box. Show you that knife again, that's real cool. The don't look back knife, very cool. And of course, the characters. The heroes have arrived. Six resin hero miniatures, one multi-part killer miniature, blank 25 and 20 and 32 millimeter. And the cool thing about it, if you notice, it comes in the box. That's like a uh, old VHS tape for those who are old enough to remember what VHS tapes are. But it's a box that's just like that. So when you would put it on a shelf, it would look like you have a DVD, have a movie up there, but it's not really a movie. It's a obviously it's just your figure cases. Okay, and there are your figures. These are your heroes. Right, real quick, show you. And the resin. High quality. And the base of the foot's on. Okay, and also inside the box, as you can tell, there's a place for your six core figures and one for the villain, the mass murderer. Who is right here. And you have several different faces you could choose from. A hood, different weapons, axe, a hammer, machete, a pistol. Four heads to choose from. One, two, three, four heads to choose from. Which one of one you want to use? There they are. Okay. Close. Anyway, there you go. 
Don't Look Back, Tabletop Horror Experience, written by Matthew Burnson. Okay, but as a bonus today, I'm also going to show you a couple other expansions that they put out also. The Gord Reaper. Again, in the, it's all in the, they all look like VHS tapes. Crack it open. More tokens. Again. Jack o' lanterns. It's an extra scenario for you for the game. Again, you can't play the game without the core set. Okay. Give you a little flashlight token. Again, it's a resin figure who you've got to put together, but there it is. High, high quality. The head of character. Put it together, that's what it's supposed to look like. The Gord Reaper. There he is, another picture of him. Again, so you got your don't look back core game up here. Okay. I can take this out. Okay. When you put them together, it looks like a bunch of VHS tapes. Okay. So there's your don't look back the core game. That comes with box. That's an expansion right there, the Gord Reaper. Well, here's another expansion. So put that on top of there. Attack of the Greys. They're coming for you. A new killer expansion for Don't Look Back. Strange and beautiful lights have been seen out in the woods and the people of Northwood have been complaining of missing time and waking nightmares. Everyone ignored the warning, and now it's too late. Now it's the attack of the Greys. Try to escape abduction and make it to the bunkers in the North Hills before you become the next sample. Will they consider you worthy or a parasite? Are your friends even who they say they are? Box contains three resin alien miniatures, rules and scenario sheets, five strange light tokens. We open that up. Lights in the woods, attack of the grays. Okay. Two more things for the game. Outer worldly. Small and slight, the grays seem to stare straight through you. With their shiny eyes, their heads tilt slightly as they consider your worth. Okay. Another expansion to the Don't Look Back game. Lights in the woods. The tokens they talked about. Bases, you know what the bases look like. They're your gray figures. Pull them out. Space aliens, there they are. Three heads to choose from, two bodies, and three heads. Oh, sorry. Make that three bodies and three heads. So you got three of them. Awesome. And three bases. And there they are.
raised. Sorry, I didn't read the back of this one, so I'll read this again real quick for you. Soul light, soul bright. His soul is bound on Hall's Eve night. A new killer expansion for Don't Look Back. Brought forth by a kid's game on Halloween. The Gord Reaper isn't here to play. With its soul bound to some of the jack-o'-lanterns around the neighborhood, the teens are racing against the dawn to smash them before the Guard Reaper's manifestation becomes permanent. You'd have to be out of your gourd to miss this fall hit. Box contains one resin Gord Reaper miniature, four resin pumpkin markers, one new scenario. All right, so you got Gord Reaper scenario, Attack of the Grays, these two here. And the last expansion, Death on the Line. The train is a coming. A new killer expansion for Don't Look Back. You don't want to find yourself on the wrong side of the old Sealy line this time. It starts with a choo-choo and ends with a chop. Boxcar Willie is back in all his chainsaw glory with Death on the Line. There's guaranteed to be a visceral flying and train whistles trolling in this action-packed slasher adventure. Just remember, Willie's hungry and looking for fresh meat to smoke. Box contents. One resin boxcar Willie miniature. Two new scenarios. Again, it's for the core game. Don't look back. The last stop. Another mission. There is your box car willy figure. High quality resin cast. Cool chainsaw. Awesome details in the figure. The base in the bag. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look back at the core game and the characters that go along with the core game. Again, they're all resin. Death on the line, the characters, Attack of the Grays, and the Gord Reaper. course all go with the rule set don't look back by black site studios thanks for watching if you like it hit like hit the subscribe button be safe be well be blessed and see you at the next unboxing video thanks for watching have a great great day